Welcome back to Gallery Watch. We are now in Darlington at the home of Graham Pages Oliver. Graham, can you tell me a little bit about what you do? Uh, yes, I'm, I'm involved in printmaking. Uh, I produce limited edition print, screen prints, and they're based on my drawings. I start with drawings, mm -hmm. then take those through the screen printing process to produce limited editions that I come back and hand paint into. These are some of my post office series that I've been working on and I've currently done three uh, post offices in the Avon Valley. They're very detailed. Do you work from photos? Ah, oh, yes. I, I take my own photographs, um, but I, the drawing process, I like to use a very fine pen and sort of build up the design mm -hmm. with very fine strokes. So okay. if you have a close look, it's sort of, yeah. it's just line work. Excellent. And how long would you spend on each drawing? Oh, the drawings themselves might, might take a few days, yeah. like th this one here up in Broome. You can see the detail in that. Yeah. And how many drawings would you be working on at the one time? Uh, I'm only working on one at a time. Um, okay. I'm currently um, working on um, one in the Pilbara region. Mm -hmm. So after you've done the drawings, what's the next step in the process? I scan them, take them through the computer and uh, Photoshop and... Um, I clean up the image um, and then have films produced that I then convert into uh, silk screens and then start printing. Excellent. Right, from there I sort of move up into my uh, studio where I've got my computer set up. Yes. Oh. This is a drawing I'm currently working on. It's a scene from, from the Pilbara. Okay. Um, and as you can see, there it is there. And I've actually... It's been scanned and I've photoshopped it yes. and um, this is the film right. that's been produced ready for printing. From here, it's a photographic process to get this onto the silk screen okay. and um, from there it's just the normal screen printing with ink and a squeegee okay. to produce the print. Yeah. This one up here is a finished print. You can see I've signed it and I've come back over and hand painted into it. Okay. So that's an addition of... 37. On the light table there is another one that I'm working on. It's a triptych. These are films ready, ready to go. So it's in three panels. Okay. Um, then I'll come back over and hand paint in that. Now that's yes. for an exhibition that's coming up. So can one film be used multiple times? Yes, yes. Okay. So you can, you can do a number of editions with them. Yeah. Excellent. This screen here, here's one where the film has been put onto the, uh, si onto yes. the silk screen, mm -hmm. so you can see the image now is ready for printing. So what's the next step from here? Well, the next step is we start printing, like this one here, this, this one's ready to go. So I've printed the sky already, yeah. uh, I've made the screen, and we're ready to start printing that colour. So I can show you how we do that. So these are some that I've printed um, and I'm just finishing them off uh, by hand painting back into them. Yeah. Then one, once that's done, I'll then um, sign them and number them. So this one, you can see the difference. This is the, the two colour print has been completed. Yeah. And here I've, I've worked back into it with the colour and adding little bits of silver paper just to highlight uh, rooftops. Okay. What sort of paint do you use? Uh, all water-based paints. Even in the printing process, uh, I use water-based water, water non-toxic paints. This is a, a series that I have finished and it's ready for numbering and signing. This is of the Beverly Post Office. Um, in Beverly, York and uh, Northern, they have aerial type activities. Okay. And I've linked that in with the post office. So yeah. in, in Beverly, it's gliding. and We've called this the Beverly airmail, special airmail service. Excellent. Whereas the, the northern one, they do ballooning. Yep. And um, York, oh. they do skydiving. And how can people buy your work? Well, I have work at the Mundaring Arts Centre, um, another little gar gallery up in York I often take work to. Plus people can come and see me and buy it, which, which obviously they do. Yep. Excellent. And how many would you make per series? About 20 to 40. Yep. Um, in this particular edition, there's 20, I think. Okay. So how do you decide what you're going to work on, what theme you're going to work with? 
I'm interested in the Australian landscape and particularly getting the, the sky, the, the large blue sky. This is something that sort of I became aware of after a trip overseas, coming back to Australia, yeah. how big the sky <laughs> is. And so I like to make that as a, a focus. Yeah. Um, currently I've been doing the post office series um, through the wheat belt. So before you became a full-time artist, what did you do with yourself? I was teaching art uh, for over 40 years in large metropolitan high schools and some of the country schools. So this is where some of my country time was up, up in the Kimberley region in Derby and um, some of my prints have come from there, yeah. you know, those waterfall prints. This is, this is the sky section that's been printed. That's the film for the sky. So I've printed off a, a 20 of those. So I'm about now to print on the, um, the final colour. Okay. Oh. So it's just a matter of registering them. I use this, this method to register so that... Yeah. This is the squeegee in which we just drag the ink right across there mm -hmm. and it goes through onto our, oh, okay. our print. So I've mixed up, mixed up some ink. I didn't want it black. I wanted a fairly dark colour. Is our print. Yeah. Right, so that's that's just the trial print, just to check the registration. Yep. So it's all lining up okay. So I can put that in the drying rack. And then take out the start on the, the addition. Yeah. 